Okay, <clears throat> let's see. I hope this is live now. Yeah, um, hello guys. Uh, I am Anne and uh, this is the part two of my acrylic painting. Uh, woodpecker and uh, flowers acry acrylic painting. I started this uh, uh, project uh, last time. Was it uh, about a week ago? Uh, no, no. Okay. Um, I did this uh, kind of blurry background and these few flowers uh, or um, leaves here. Uh, I will still continue this. I'm not totally happy with this area here. Um, but in this video, I will uh, do those uh, flowers you see there, and um, I have uh, kind of changed the structure a little bit because I want those uh, here uh, will be that uh, bigger flower you see there, and uh, here uh, I will have that uh, other big flower, uh, but and. Uh, so the distance of those uh, is a little bit different than in that uh, reference photo. These two reference photos are available for you guys in my uh, Facebook page. Uh, links to those are in the video description. And um, yeah, um, in this video I will do those flowers and those leaves here. and. Uh, and in next uh, live stream I will paint that uh, um, woodpecker. I hope. I hope I, I'm uh, at that stage that time. So let's uh, jump uh, into it. So let's see. I'll take some. These are the uh, Dalla Rooney um, paintbrushes. This is Filbert 6. And uh, this time I thought to show you this little technique or idea I had. Uh, some of you may have uh, troubles or difficult, uh, difficulties to um, kind of mix, mix uh, paints so that they are just uh, right color. So here, let's see if I can just change this settings just a little bit. So <clears throat> here I have a few um, colors that I have picked from from that uh, that uh, what is it? Uh, reference photo. I have picked these uh, these few few colors here and uh, I will try to uh, mix those uh, colors like this um, I will take a few few paints Uh, I have um, a glass uh, glass palette here, so I can uh, see the printed uh, printed uh, color charts more easily. Let's take that uh, warmer gray, red color. And well, like so and well, let's take one small amount of. <clears throat> yellow too. So, um, for example, if, uh, let's see, I want to get that uh, 
bright pink you see there so let's take that and that and I can uh, check out if the color satura saturation is uh, just right or should I mix some other color in it actually that is more closer to this color here so I can test test those uh, different colors like this it's uh, so easy to test out and check uh, um, just uh, if you have a hard times to um, do those uh, get the uh, mix the just the right color I feel that needs to be much lighter It's quite close. Like just a hint of this. It's quite close. Okay, but uh, it's actually not that important to get the just right color it's more important to get the the right uh, contrast or value that um, that was just a, a little tip for you guys uh, if you have hard time for uh, mixing colors you can uh, get this uh, um, glass <laughs> glass pla plate uh, this is just glass from uh, from one frame that I have and uh, I use this as a mixing palette and uh, I print these uh, different uh, um, color swatches or uh, color rectangles and uh, place those on the under my glass and uh, I can check out the actual colors uh, like that hi Renat um, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm live now uh, I really hope I can get these uh, these uh, these flowers and uh, um, flowers and leaves done today, so that I can uh, next time do those. So that the uh, woodpecker. Actually, I will move this just a little bit, so that you guys can. So that those I leave those uh, reference photos up there so <clears throat> you guys can see see those so I hope you guys have had a great great uh, weekend it was very nice weather here yeah, only uh, minus uh, 15 here and my dogs they just love it they are actually outside right uh, at the moment so i may need to get those uh, them inside some some point of this live stream but they are quite happy there at the moment uh 
I will just uh, block these uh, these areas, these um, petals. Now, I'm not trying to do um, too accurate um, painting just right uh, just now, just to block those those areas. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, I will not try to. Uh, do exactly like the in the uh, reference photo because there will be this uh, woodpecker here so and I want those uh, two uh, big uh, flowers to show uh, uh, under the one under the uh, woodpecker and one uh, above the woodpecker so I just uh, move those uh, those two flowers a little bit far away so that the, that woodpecker will uh, fit uh, between those two flowers hi Elise um, first time I joined your live stream but can't stay long it's almost one. Oh my god okay so uh, <laughs> too bad we we don't have a the time difference is so so bad. Uh, I tried to start uh, a little bit earlier today just for you Elise but unfortunately my friend called me and we we chatted a little little uh, for, for a while so thank you Jasmine Um, I may live stream tomorrow um, uh, doing that uh, woodpecker I don't know uh, we will see but uh, I hope uh, I will see you at least then and if I want to live stream tomorrow I will it will be next uh, next uh, Saturday I, I will always almost say Sunday it's just um, yeah <laughs> so I'm, I'm blocking the uh, petals the areas of those petals here just um, I, I I don't care how accurate the color is just just right now not even the contrast I just want to block the the areas of these flowers just and <clears throat> for for you guys uh, that are um, other <laughs> other followers or watchers there uh, you you guys should should uh, check out Elise's uh, Elise Wong creation um, channel she has very uh, many many great uh, acrylic paintings on her channel she has this uh, um, cute little squirrel am I uh, pronouncing that right right uh, squirrel <laughs> uh, in her um, there is a uh, there is one um, live stream where she paints that squirrel and uh, have you already done the actual um, whole video of that I'm so looking forward to that for that it's, it is just a so cute cute little thing and beautiful painting and she has also many other other great videos of acrylics and uh, other medium on her channel so please check her out <laughs> oh yeah yeah really um Alice you you really don't uh, give yourself uh, enough credits uh, you are just amazing artist <sighs> And uh, I love watching your your paintings and your videos. The 
one of my favorites are is the owl that uh, yellowish red colored owl that is grabbing this uh, little what what this uh, there was this mouse that uh, and the barn owl is grabbing grabbing that owl and the lightning lighting on that painting is just amazing it is so beautiful painting and that uh, greenish color i i don't remember the name of that uh, that painting and that the uh, bird but it is so gorgeous um so you just need the uh, voice over the time lapse will do i ha uh, will have to add in the information about them into okay <laughs> oh thank you thank you jasmine yeah i love i love uh hummingbirds those are those are so so cute they are like i think they are like uh, little fairy birds um i live in finland so we don't have we don't have uh, hummingbirds here and I have never seen any in real life but uh, I don't know why but they are always have been uh, have uh, fascinated me those uh, little fairy birds jumping from flower to flower okay um so I'm just the uh, first i will just block the these uh, flowers here the petals and uh, after that i will do those uh, um leads okay my dog is making some noises there. Maybe they want to get, come in. They are out, outside. Um, and well, I think it is quite freezing out there, but they are loving it. It was uh, minus 50, 15 today when we were um, our day jog and uh, <laughs> they wanted to stop in uh, in the lake and uh, just hang there uh, on the snow uh, cooling cooling themselves out it was just too warm they got they <laughs> there's so such a winter dogs they love these cold weathers okay um just a second i will uh take those little fur babies inside just a second continue and see that one petal is on top of that other one going just roughly I'm not trying to be 
totally exact with the form because these are flowers so nobody can see and the end, re um, end result whether I am just exact with the with the form or the shape or not and then there is that other petal under that so I'll just make a little bit darker that one okay these are just bluff there this is so called ugly face it's not looking that fancy at the moment but I hope <laughs> hopefully later it will start looking a little bit better but for now this is just enough <laughs> so god can't survive in such weather like that uh, minus 50 is uh, actually not that bad not that bad um, <laughs> yeah he was so relaxed he loved that uh, they, they have been uh, outside mm about two hours now so i just got them inside they just love to hang in the snow um if i knew how to paint i would try this uh, hey thanks for the advice now peggy um just try uh, you don't need to have this uh round canvas um you can just take any any kind of canvas you you want and just start playing it's uh, actually not that that uh, hard to to paint with uh, acrylics just uh, because you can if you don't like to end result you can always add more more layers on it and um, yeah, well, you can uh, layer almost uh, endlessly. So this is kind of very uh, forgiving medium to to paint to do. Um. <laughs> yeah, this is so called ugly face. Yeah. It is um, because I really don't want to leave it and leave this in this this stage and I don't know I don't like uh, these these two uh, blurry background um, flowers here these are just too how should I say they are curry curry that's not well right all right they they are just too mm, i don't i don't i don't like uh how these are looking at the moment but uh hopefully later i will make those those look better and yeah so let's see <laughs> thank you thank you peggy um yay three hunger fantasy art and the books <laughs> your name is very long uh i just call you three hugger because i love that face <laughs> that that uh name three hugger i am three hugger um so let's see i think i yeah i will just start shaping these uh, 
um, pedals here just just so that the, I have something to this is um, I'm not trying to as you can see I am using white at the moment I'm not using green at all I have my greens there on the um, tubes at the moment I just because I have uh, used the uh, charcoal for or white white charcoal white uh, pastel I think it is for these uh, these um, uh, petals here uh, I mean leaves I will just shape those in here so that I won't lose those shapes this is like this and this is the center lead okay I will just place uh, some color here so that those those leaves are staying put the center line is there and there, there is this one and here actually there is also another flower here as you can see I'm using this quite big uh, pencil here I'm just blocking the colors here I don't try to be uh, exact uh, on the colors or brush strokes just just now just uh, just yet okay, a little bit water okay there is one flower and actually there are those those to be much much lighter so there are few few of those very very light that is going to be um how should I do this I'm thinking of doing kind of mixed with this um leave here and that flower there so there would be that flower and that leaf would be there so I'm, I'm not following my reference photo just exactly as it is I am being quite loose here I just want to the end result be uh, being nice enough um, got the wait a month to change the name uh, how long have you worked with this so far um it was two hour about two and a half hour this uh, background so about that that is about how how long i have been working working this so not not that long not that long um okay i think i need to get some blacks uh i mean uh, greens here soon so that I can get some uh, structure there. <laughs> no, think, think. Need to 
get this white and so this will be the other side of that petal and then there is this curve here okay and then we have this how does that So, okay, and here, just like this, and here, I'll see. It's a heart. <laughs> quite like hot and then there are these lines those um, I don't know what are these called strange uh, branches oh have you guys understand these lines I'm just uh, kind of uh, shaping these, uh, these uh, the um, shapes and uh, the placement of those few few um, leaves that I have here. Okay and. Oh, should I? There is something there. There is this, but what do I want here? Ah, oh, yeah. Like this. Okay. And maybe. Oh, Lupe is next to me. Came here. And like so, and oh, yeah, let's see. Now I will add a little bit light colors here, kind of making those. Uh, the shape of these these flower petals hmm. I will <clears throat> add uh, just a little bit water with this uh, fluorosol, is it fluorosol? Yeah, um, um, spray bubble. This will help me to get this a uh, little bit more smooth, smooth blending than if I would just um, dry brush. Just test out. Okay. Testing. Let's make some pink there. Okay, and let's add a little 
little bit white here I don't uh, do uh, flowers that often these are something that are really difficult for me for some reason even though I love flowers I haven't drawn or painted that many flowers in my life quite few only a few flowers so <laughs> Huge learning curve here. zinc white not opaque but not it not opaque and make nice glazes i actually just bought uh zinc white so yeah i i think i need to test that that out um later uh when i i do this this uh, painting but um, at the moment I just want to block uh, some shapes here and uh, it can be a little more uh, opaque just at the moment I'll add some Violet okay, and Thank you, Jasmine. <laughs> Even though these are really just the first layers of these uh, flowers i'm just marking the placement of the shadows and uh, the highlights flowers are quite uh, forgiving subjects because uh, you don't need to be that exact on, on the placement of the, every shadow and uh, so on as uh, as in for example in with the animals because uh, with animals the uh, placement of uh, certain shadows or shines uh, it's based on the bone structure the anatomy of that specific animal so you you can't uh, to uh, you can't do too much changes for for the um, reference photo. But uh, with flowers, they are more how how should I say it? They are easier in in that that way uh, or more forgiving I would say Let's see. So. let's Mm. 
mm, 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 mm. what is my favorite subject subject matter um animals um i used to do many many um dogs i i did uh, <laughs> mostly mostly dog portraits but uh, nowadays um then i i, I kind of got uh, bored for for doing just just dogs so um, nowadays i like uh, more um, birds and uh, uh, stags deers you know those are uh, something i really enjoy uh, maybe yeah Maybe those uh, birds are. Uh, I, lo I love. I love birds. And uh, but I'm kind of uh, after I did that. Uh, mm, what is it? Um, that spider. <laughs> uh, I actually liked liked the uh, really really much doing that sm spider painting and uh, I'm thinking of doing few uh, few different insects um, what is it? Uh, brain mantis and mantis I, I don't know how to pronounce that uh, praying mantis that uh, green creature uh, I want to do one, uh, one uh, painting of that and some uh, marine marine animals like a squid and a squid and uh, octopuses and uh, jellyfishes and uh, I don't know uh, everything I, I I really like every every subject matter but not humans and not clothes <laughs> I hate hate drawing or painting clothes uh, that is uh, one reason why I don't uh, draw humans because they should be always be naked. <laughs> um, wow, your flowers are wonderful. Thank you, uh, Biggie. What is your favorite shopping mall? Esme is focusing more on portraits. Way easier. Oh my God. Portraits are not easy, <laughs> yeah. but maybe you 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 probably are good with those. Um, is that a brush you recommended for flowers? I love your dear. You did recently. Oh, stag. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I I really like that painting. Uh, painting to you um well these uh, daily Rooney uh, Filbert brushes this this is very nice this is quite uh, big for for now because uh, um, but uh, actually yeah <laughs> I, I, I am so new with uh, with acrylics that um, I really can't give you any real advices uh, but as you can see I'm very lazy I'm very lazy on uh, rinsing or cleaning my brushes so I just as long as I can I will just pick some some brush usually the uh, round filbert brush and uh, just paint as as long as I can with just one brush and uh, when I feel like I can't get some some specific uh, shape or or uh, things like that to uh, work with uh, with some of these uh, I, I may change for some some other shape or some other other brush but for now this suits for me because I can do uh, quite uh, uh, tiny, tiny lines uh, like this, and uh, uh, flat, um, large, large areas like this. So you can really do quite much with 
just one brass but oh my god just uh, test out what you like uh, it's there is no right or wrong when you you are doing art I will just add some greens here because I'm starting to do those uh, leaves like so Lupe, I don't know if you can hear hear him but he is making uh, noises <laughs> he is uh, sleeping next to me <laughs> and being very very tired and annoyed because I'm keeping this I'm, I'm speaking and uh, making noises and he just would want to just sleep and <laughs> I'm bother bothering him so let's see this petal here uh, it is trying to be that uh, about this high there that um, pebble there so let's see I'll just add some green war warmish green like this and just blocking that area there and let's take now that that area is still dry, dry. Let's mix that. Mix that. <laughs> so you like people and the clothes, especially detailed clothes. Oh, you're so so opposite than me. Uh, pet portraits, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Pet portraits. Those are something I I used to enjoy. Nowadays, I'm I'm not well. I, I have done those so many times and so many years that, uh, um, how should I say, I wanted to try something else and that's why I stopped to, um, doing uh, commissions. I don't do commissions nowadays at all and uh, I'll, I just Paint whatever comes to my mind, and usually those are not pet portraits. Sometimes I do some pet, pet portraits, like uh, I will do that uh, Great Dane, uh, black Great Dane, uh, with the red color scheme that uh, I tried with uh, with the uh, spider painting that I just did recently um, but uh, now this I like kind of fantasy like uh, fantasy and nature combined okay. why is that paint lifting and then have I painted dog um I have drawn few dogs I have uh, uh, did few I have um this one uh, what is it uh, Dervert Inktense uh, uh, 
painting of uh, three white shepherds uh, portraits three white shepherds that I did uh, uh, that is in here in um, that is here in uh, YouTube on my channel if you if you want to check that out um, and I have I have few dog portraits here but uh, nowadays I very rarely do any any dogs and uh, with acrylics uh, I'm trying to remember if I have I have done one acrylic painting of my dogs several years ago. It's um, you don't have any pictures anywhere of that because the well <laughs> the perspective perspective of those paintings is just awful. Uh, I tr um, the dogs uh, dogs are quite okay, but the background pers perspective is just awful um well it's quite cute it's um so bad that it's almost cute <laughs> you know um it's all painting that i did um many many years ago it's over 10 years ago Thank you, Carol. Um, let's see. Just a layer of green here. This nice opaque light green. What is it? Olive. Uh, pale olive. And And then let's take these and I want to keep that center line out here. Little bit warmer, yellowish, yellowish uh, green here. Like so, and A little bit. My neighbor's dog is barking outside, and Lupe is. 
Okay. He is going to check out what is wrong with the neighbor's dog. They are. Um. Shepherd dogs are great. Do you hang your paintings on your house? Actually, <laughs> I hang them, those, uh, um, my paintings on my parents' house. I don't have, uh, I have at my house, I, I just moved, so things may change uh, after a while. I have two, uh, uh, I mean three, three paintings on my wall, my paintings, on my wall uh, at the moment, on my house, but uh, several on my parents' house, so <laughs> they are getting all my, all my stuff, all my paintings that I, I do. Actually, at the moment um, I have several paintings on... Um, on my uh, local uh, art shop, um, art supply shop, they they have uh, this uh, kind of window gallery, and uh, I have a few of my paintings there at the moment. But uh, I don't know how how long I can keep them there. Um, okay, here there was that flower, and I want to just block that dark. Like so. And then let's make this warmer. And as you can see, I can get quite nice, sharp uh, little end there with this just this brush. So um, I think I don't need to change my brush just just yet. As long as I can go with just one brush, I will go. Because I'm lazy. There is no other reason for that. I'm just so lazy. Okay. And then... Actually, let's get... A little... Lighter... At the moment, I'm just blocking the placement of those those uh, um, leaves.
and then here Oops, kicking my camera. Um, while I'm doing these uh, leaves, I will kind of turn my uh, brush while I'm uh, taking, uh, making those strokes so that I can get the sharp and wide and sharp again, uh, those kind of lines. So lay with your your brushes you can get very nice shapes <laughs> uh, I love watching your live streams it's cozy to put them put them on and learn and it's great to see the process today it is yeah I did some Clean finally, <laughs> but still I love it to follow your laps in between. Thank you, uh, Christine. It's uh, nice to hear that. Um, <laughs> I um, I do uh, always when actually when when I'm working, 
when I'm I'm at work, I can have uh, something to play uh, in kind of background uh, background noise, <laughs> or or uh, also when when I'm uh, painting and not live streaming, painting or drawing, uh, and uh, while I don't live stream. Uh, I usually have something playing um, in background. Uh, many times it is uh, some of the Lacry Fine Arts uh, videos uh, or or Elise's Elise One Creation or Christy or. Um, Artista 365 or these are kind of my art family art uh, friends that I follow and uh, every time when I have time for for um, listening or watching their their uh, videos I add uh, those videos uh, playing uh, background when when I'm working on my some some of my own pr project and uh, it's so so nice uh, especially if people have audio or um, uh, voiceovers I love those <laughs> I know I don't personally do those that often uh, especially when I do my um, time lapses but that is just because I it takes so uh, so much time for me to do those uh, um, what is it um, those um, voiceovers um, it's kind of easier to do these uh, um, live streams because uh, I <laughs> I don't know um, it's uh, it's just much easier to do these uh, live streams than than those uh, voiceovers. So with voice uh, with uh, time lapses, I just use video, even though I personally prefer uh, those with. Uh, um, with the voiceover. Okay, I'm just trying to do those few shadows I have in the reference folder that makes the these few. Um, leaves kind of pop up so I need to get those shadows those nice contrasts so things I can now uh, correct that that area there later Over that petal there, see that shadow. So this face is very rough and ugly and uh, uh, not pretty at all. But this is just the way it is. When you are just blocking the uh, kind of highlights and shadows. Now I am doing those shadows, and I'm very, I'm being very um, rough with my pencil strokes. I'm, I'm just <laughs> dumping huge amount of dark color here and there. 
where I want to be those those uh, dark shadows. And that flower needs also some dark there. And there. No, it's beautiful. It is the process. Yeah, yeah, it is. It, you you really shouldn't think it as a ugly. I don't think it is. A, <laughs> even though I I say it is the ugly face, I don't think it is ugly. It is just the face of uh, of the process, and it should it is supposed to look like this at the moment. Very rough. Actually, many times I really like this uh, this kind of paint paintings. Um, you know, when people do those uh, impression impressionistic paintings, where uh, the focus is uh, more on um, on the values and contrast and uh, um, basic colors and not in the details. I really like those paintings, but uh, I kind of like to see them to evolve in, in uh, more um, detailed if, uh, actually, I love the kind of paintings that are uh, mostly very rough and impressionistic and uh, the painting, um, paint strikes, um, brush strikes are very uh, vivid and uh, you can see those. And then there is are these few areas that are more precise and uh, detailed and and uh, everything else is kind of loose and uh, you know i love those kind of paintings and uh, i kind of want want to learn to do those but at the moment i <laughs> i feel like i always overdo if you could say that But um, that is one reason why I'm using just one paintbrush at the moment. I don't want to get too uh, detailed um, areas. I want to be loose and um, rough with my painting at the moment so that uh, later on I, I can uh, go over certain areas with a smaller brush and uh, make more details like that but um, actually now I will leave this this area to dry and I will con um, work a little bit this background here uh, while I wait uh, that other area to dry and let's see uh, last time I had um, quite a bit difficulties with this background because I felt like uh, I I couldn't get the paint to stick in this uh, this uh, canvas and uh, uh, Unmask Art has this uh, this um, uh, uh, Facebook group 
uh, and uh, I asked up there if anyone had had have uh, experience a uh, different kind of experience with the gessoed paper uh, gessoed canvases because I I did gesso this uh, this canvas before I started to paint and um, uh, just so and sand it because I wanted to, this to be much smoother than this was uh, just <laughs> just uh, as um, when I, I bought this uh, this uh, canvas it was just too rough for my taste so I I added some gesso and uh, sanded it and uh, when I started to paint paint on this uh, I, it just felt uh, weird it doesn't feel like that at all at the moment but uh, um, in the beginning in uh, last live stream it really felt really weird and I asked it in the the um, unmask art unmask art family group Is it something like that uh, the 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 group group name um, I asked it there if uh, anyone any anybody else had had that same kind of problems and uh, it may be because of I used used the Liquitex uh, Liquitex Basics Gesso. That may not be the best Gesso, <sighs> best Gesso out there. So, so I may need to. Uh, I have now um, this. This Galleria, Winston, Windsor at Newton Gallery acrylic gesso, and I hope that will be better than the Liquidex one that I used. Okay, now I'm. I'll test out if I can. Uh, I hope. Focus. Apply. Okay. I. Put the. Um, where is my mouse? Sorry. Okay. So I put uh, the the um, out out of focus off, and I really hope it won't freeze the live stream the video yeah i i wish we had a uh, golden gesso here i haven't found any i need to search research more or just buy online but um yeah Yeah, I have heard many great things about those golden gessos, golden brand. Okay, and um, this is the spray bottle that I use. This is called. Uh, this is uh, the. You can find this as. Uh, Flaresol. 
I mentioned that uh, about that uh, in my last live stream and I I really like those and if you are in Finland the uh, uh will carry those uh, soon maybe in next week and also um Colin Terra is having those but uh, you guys not in Finland just google Flarosol and you can get those uh, spray bubbles those are just just great and if you check out the the video that the Jason Morgan made from from that that uh, spray bubble uh, together with the, what is it it's, uh, it's this uh, fixative for for paso paso sp spectrum well some some fixative with the with the, the best fixative for for pastels. he uh, added that uh, fixative inside this bottle and used this as as the for the spraying that uh, fixative and you get the uh, so nice uh, fine fine mist with this spray bottle that is why I'm using that it is like uh, spraying with the uh, um, Air, airbrush. I want to soften, soften these so that you can't really see the shape, shape of those. The golden is the sorry. No, oh, golden is the only brand of gesso in my shop here that I found, so I tried it. Uh, yeah, um, golden is <laughs> a brand that I have heard very good things about. So you are very lucky <laughs> if you if that is the brand you have. You have there. Um, the main brands that you can find from Finland are uh, well, Windsor and Newton, and um, some uh, uh, Liquid X Basics and. Uh, Uh, what is it? Amsterdam is one one paint that I I like to use. Those you can find quite easily, and also Van Gogh. I actually have a set of Van Gogh uh, oil paints. I 
need to start uh, practicing oil painting soon. I'm really looking forward to, to that. Now this is starting to look like, like I want. Um, you can really, I don't know how much you can see in the video, but in real life, this uh, um, the more layers you get uh, got in your in your painting, the better. It, it starts to look it really makes all the difference if you if you don't have enough layers it's kind of dull looking you get so much more depth by doing more layers and uh, now after I have I have gotten more paint paint acrylic paint on on my canvas this is working much uh, better than uh, in last live stream when I had only that uh, plain gesso on my on my uh, canvas so maybe in future I won't try to paint my start my painting on on a white uh, gessoed canvas but uh, I should do the base base layer base coloring before beforehand so that is something I need to do in future paintings <laughs> well, five minutes gone, dishwashing and your bedding is completely changed. Scary. Yeah, it is very scary. It's fun to follow the uh, people's live stream. And uh, if you don't uh, uh, kind of check out every every minute uh, the process, it may change dramatically after just few few minutes okay, and then I like to do these very small kind of white dots and blend blend those Um, I used a mixture of marble flower, PVA glue, acrylic binder, water, and titanium white. Mm -mm -mm -mm. White. Oh my god, can't <laughs> Oh, Renate. Sorry, sorry to hear that influence. That there is this wave of influence at the moment. Hope you're 
feeling better soon. Um, <laughs> the only good thing is on it is that I am able to join the live stream. Yeah, if are you are you at the moment sick at home? Oh, I really hope I don't I won't catch catch that. There have been few co-workers that are have been sick last last week. Blend, let's blend, 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 blend. Okay, and then let's add a few. Let's see it a bit darker. Oh, so you are, are you a nurse, Renate? Half of the nurse in the hospital I work is sick. Oh, but uh, as a nurse, you really you need to get home if you are even a little bit sick. Which... Uh, in many uh, workplaces, it's... It's uh, sad that uh, people come come to work even they are even if they are just a little bit sick they think that well I can work uh, I can sit in uh, in my chair and work but if you do that and you can you come to work while you are a little bit sick you still can uh, um, what is it? Uh, get other other people sick too, and uh, that is the reason why you always should uh, stay home um, if you are feeling ill, because you then are not uh, making other people uh, sick too. But not everybody do that always remember to wash your hands Infect the other, yeah, yeah, that is what, what I should. Uh, I was going to say, <sighs> yeah. Okay. 
let's see. Warm. Warm. Um, I'm using uh, these are mop, mop brushes. This is these are makeup brushes, just basic makeup brushes, and I'm uh, spraying just very little little amount of water on my canvas before I blend, so that uh, there is something to blend with. Um, So and let's see like this. Okay. Now now this this area is totally dry. And maybe I now rinse or clean my that brush. I'll put this one away and let's see. I want this uh, this one. This is very small flat flat brush, and uh, I like these for making straight lines so that is why I choose this and uh, let's start with this one I want to clean that uh, much paint okay and there's actually a little bit more of that yellowish Color there, and then there is yellow here. Ah! Okay, my yellow is too dry. I need to get more, a little bit more paint there. Now it is better. Halla! Onko kaikki hyvin? Halla! Halla is making some noises. Maybe she is just sleeping and having some cleans. Okay. And Yeah, yeah, I usually, <laughs> usually I uh, spray my palette also, but 
Now I actually think I've, I let them dry for, for a while and then I'm, I will just use this to scrape the uh, paints away and just take a new, new set of paint there. Because there are few few areas that are just way too light, uh, way too dry. I don't want to activate those again. I just want to remove those. Okay, and let's see. Let's use this. Oh, maybe a little bit there and there. Um. So edge of that leaf. Yeah. Then just very lightly. And uh, da, da, da. Let's see. as you can see, I'm jumping here and there constantly. That is just my style, <laughs> style of working. I'm I'm not staying too long in one area ever. I'll kind of uh, if I have if I have one uh, paint on 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 my uh, brush or when I'm working with the, for example, colored pencil, if I if I have one uh, color in my hand. I will uh, use that color everywhere, and then I will uh, switch to to other other color. So it sometimes looks very odd the way way I'm working because I'm jumping so much. In line, you say it in line.
have like yeah <laughs> I know Jasmine I know your trouble <laughs> um I have all also troubles when painting leads uh, but I also haven't painted that much so now I'm kind of trying to um, be more precise but as as you guys can see I'm not following that uh, reference photo exact I'm just taking some some ideas from here and there and um, kind of I don't know <laughs> just uh, trying to check out few basic rules so basic uh, shapes for from some petal uh, but uh, I'm not trying to copy copy that uh, that picture exactly as I see it because I don't think it really matters I think uh, more important thing is to just make it look okay make it look uh, re realistic enough Then Thank you, Jasmine. Um, okay, uh, I need to let my dog outside again. Just uh, let's take a little break. I will come back soon. Just a moment. Okay, back again. Let's see. Um, and now let's make some. I like that um, brownish colored. Um, what is it called? Strand is about here. As you can see, those are very like 
Haluatko säkin ulos? Nyy. Mm. Mekin naisille vähän. Um, let's make these just a hint of color. And just because that does not show, unless it is more opaque, add a little bit white. And then let's see. Let's make Hi Hilde. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see.
Um, I'm using a uh, ivory black here. It is this um, opaque black. Can uh, do very nice opaque. Uh, no, not opaque. Um, translucent, translucent uh, black, and uh, you can do very nice translucent uh, shadows with with that black. color is blending weirdly. Let's leave that. Let that be for a while. Okay. And then just light layer there. Um, are you going to put the woodpecker on the forest theme? I will add the woodpecker about like this. So the, it will be about this, this size. The head will be about here. The um, body and the tail. Tail will be uh, going a little bit uh, over over this this side so she will she or he will be like here
I actually like uh, there is uh, in this uh, flower reference uh, there are few now what are droplets on those uh, those leaves so I think I'll try <laughs> let's see how how this will work um, let's try this I should have some <laughs> some uh, better reference for for those uh, water droplets. Now I take this smaller brush and darken this. <laughs> yeah, well, um, yeah, maybe uh, I am doing a little bit too much work um, on these, these because these probably will be covered. This one won't, this one won't be. This will show a little bit. Well, we'll see. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am doing too much work for for um, this kind of painting because some of this will be covered. But uh, well, at least this will be kind of good. Uh, example how to do just this kind of floral floral scene There was, became a uh, water drop there. I need to get that away. Okay. Um, I will do some some of these water drops, but uh, maybe only for for <laughs> yeah. Probably means you just really like doing it. It would I would be too lazy. Yeah. Well, um, if I had um good reference, uh, I or. <laughs> If I had uh, planned this a uh, little bit better, I would have a uh, better reference to follow and uh, I would know what to leave aside. But now I just want to do um, this uh, because I can always paint over, over this. But yeah, you are totally right. I I shouldn't be doing this much uh, work on those areas that will be covered by that uh, woodpecker. <laughs> I'm just having too much fun. Okay, I need to mm, check some uh, references from water droplets, but I. I think I will do. I will do these uh, 
water watery areas here uh, like the, like there is uh, in in the reference picture because I like that detail Like that shine. Okay, there's something like that. And Uh, what month were you born? Uh, January. I am born in January. So, just a little while ago I turned 31. Yeah, I'm kind of perfect perfectionist. Oh, ter terrible word to pronounce. Uh, difficult. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Woodpecker uh, reflected on the drops. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if this would be, if if this uh, were a bigger, uh, bigger painting, then I might even try to do that, but not as small as this one. This is something I really need to learn not to do when painting. I'm placing my little finger here, uh, kind of uh, supporting my, my hand while I paint. I do that uh, when, when drawing and also when painting with acrylics but I know I already know I will be in trouble when doing oil paintings because I will do that accidentally and I will smudge everything up I really need to learn not to do that um, actually Okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking of doing little, this kind of strands here, uh, in here, but I know they won't be shown, shown uh, under, under that uh, woodpecker, so I'm trying to hold myself back with that, but here I want some. What are these called? Not bloomed uh, flowers. And this one. Let's make these flowers now. And 
um, brush away and let's take this flat brush. Let's see. Ah, too much. I'm focusing so sorry I'm being silent I'm trying to focus on my painting just a little bit more <laughs> and that let's see this one like this and Make this one much darker because it is in shadow. This is too dark, but I don't I don't care just just yet. I can always lighten Lighten that up. I just want to make that shape. And okay, and then let's clean that. And make some white. Okay. Let's make Um, yeah, I could, but I actually really want want to do that uh, woodpecker um, larger, like like this. There will be uh, it will be about this size, and the tail about here. So there will be these uh, flowers, enough of those flowers here. Um, let's see, actually, now I will do this, like having clean plate I have this tape tape on in there
<laughs> oh, thank you, Rene. Uh, but I think it, it will be okay after after the um, uh, what is it? Um, woodpecker. Uh, after I have done that woodpecker, there will be enough flowers still or floral. Too much, too much. Well, not, not too bad. Let's add this and this. Yeah, you know, you only you know the beauty beauty behind the woodpecker. <laughs> oh. Okay, now let's continue. Ah, oh, my yellow. Almost forgot. Now let's continue. is very translucent Um, yeah, this, this leaf probably will be almost totally covered, so maybe I need to just work a little more here and um, in the areas that will not be covered. What colors am I using? Um, if you mean uh, brand, I'm using Windsor at Newton Gallery. And 
um, Liquitex Basics. What is my regular medium, if not acrylics? Um, I'm, I, nowadays I work uh, uh, with uh, colored pencils, uh, acrylics and pastels mostly. And um, sometimes uh, with uh, watercolors or watercolor pencils or inktense pencils. But um, yeah, and soon, soon I will start learning uh, oil paintings also. Take a picture when you're finished with this painting, and you can make a print of just the flowers, and then another with the bird on top. That is actually a really good idea. I I may do that if I just finish. A few little things here because this is not that pretty. Um, also, one reason for for why I'm doing uh, so much this area that will be covered is because I am learning. I haven't done that many. Um, acrylic paintings, realistic acry uh, looking acrylic paintings. So this is really just a practice piece for me. And um, that's that's why, I, because I don't have any any hurry or any, I don't need to rush to get this done. Although I yeah, I don't want to work this uh, forever just uh, just uh, <laughs> because uh, you guys probably would <laughs> get bored if if I would just uh, work this same picture uh, hours and hours and hours. But um, yeah, I'm I'm learning here so. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my breath <laughs> while I do these few lines here. Uh, so I'm I'm practicing. I'm practicing both my uh, how I use my uh, my brush and. Uh, because I haven't done that many um, flora, um, flowers or leaves or anything like that. Um, even with, uh, with uh, um, colored pencils or uh, in any other mediums, uh, <laughs> I'm, I need to practice these also so that I even see those uh, different details and uh, color changes and so on so Um, okay, so the, uh, there is phthalo green, uh, pale olive, um, sap green, and uh, powder blue, and white and uh, yellow. What is it? Uh, cadmium yellow deep hue. Those are the colors at the moment. And then I use also this 
Guinea Gridone. Oh, this magenta. <laughs> Terrible word. word. Um, let's see. green pale olive this this here this is pale olive yeah that is very pretty color I like that I like that a lot you can mix that also with, with your other colors but I'm just again I'm lazy And then, well, actually, this leaf here will also probably be covered by that uh, woodpecker. So I will be just quite. I won't use too much time for that. Hello, John. Um, let's see. These will be shown behind that woodpecker. I need to get here some details here and I will go over those with that yellowish colors
yours. This is cadmium red deep hue. is quite a sharp edge there it will go there and then I want to kind of double load my my flat brush so that I get this lighter um, outer edge of my petal but still nice soft translation for to that uh, um, darker color then and then let's add lighter color here and here okay let's sharpen that like so. And then let's do that same same thing here.
yes. There. Okay. Mm, let's see. Again. Double. Double load and. Let's do one stroke. There. <laughs> thank you thank you Mary yeah um, this is very fun technique you can get very nice effects this way by kind of um, double loading your your brush and I try to blend that nicely there. You guys must have seen those uh, videos where people do those uh, entire in, entire petals just with one one stroke. This is kind of similar, but uh, a little more detail. Um, how how should I say? It? Um, it's there. There is a little bit more things happening <laughs> in these uh, these petals when you do work uh, work like this uh, not trying to do just one stroke but the same same technique same um, uh, brush loading Dioxide purple, and I'll just make uh, that uh, magenta a little bit darker and cooler, just a hint, and then. Okay, I think here I need a bigger flat brush and I have that here. Let's add some, just some paint and pink. You really want to get enough paint on your brush when you do this. And ok. 
okay i think that is okay now Inside. Okay, and let's see. Um, three have hugger. Uh, your paintings are always so rich in color. Excited uh, for when the woodpecker gets painted. Thank you for the live stream. I'll definitely be watching for the woodpecker video. Must finish laundry now. Okay, so um, bye bye, tree hugger. Um, I'm really happy. Happy you like this and uh, and uh, <laughs> that you you like my my art and yeah, I use quite a bit quite a bit uh, color <laughs> in my paintings. Um, yeah, so happy laundering day <laughs> for you and uh, um, well, hope you catch up uh, in, in when I start that uh, woodpecker. That may be tomorrow, I don't know, um, probably tomorrow or at, um, if not tomorrow then next week and week from, from now. Like make those stems.
I actually don't see what kind of stems do, do these flowers have, but they may not have this kind of stems. But I'll do this, do this anyway. And let's see. Yeah, I don't know if these are hibiscus uh, these are not hibiscus flowers these are something else yeah i don't know i don't really like those those stems i may may change those a bit later
Yeah, I think I'll... Um, yeah, these are not hibiscus. Um, because I don't... I haven't seen... I don't know if I can even get hibiscus flowers in, in here in Finland. This was something... Uh, one flower that I got to my mother and I took a few uh, photos from it but it wasn't hibiscus it doesn't it didn't have that uh, one big stem Okay, um, let's do that another flower there, but before that I'll add a little bit of color in this. This again.
Aza, Ale Aza, Ale Aze. Why can't I read that? Azalea, Azalea, Azalea flower. Okay, haven't heard, haven't heard. But maybe, I don't know, it's some pretty flower um, <laughs> and I think I'll do some of it from imagination, based on my imagination. Um, and then let's see where is that? Double load. Hi Mara. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you like it.
Uh, how smooth is my canvas? Um, <laughs> I don't know how to compare it. Uh, it's quite smooth. I did gesso it and sand it. Um, because I don't like to use too rough canvases. Uh, but I, I really had troubles with I think it was because of that uh, that gesso that uh, liquid liquidex basics gesso. Now I don't feel that uh, there is any any problem, but in the beginning before I had any any color on my um, any paint on my canvas. Just, just that gesso. It was terrible, <laughs> really. Trying to do that uh, blurry background. Okay. Mm. Then let's take. A little bit wet water there, and uh, that way my paintbrush will glide much nicer. On there. No, no, uh, it doesn't uh, leave uh, leave dots. 
Uh, this is Flerosol uh, spray bubble. This makes very very fine mist, like uh, like what you would get uh, when uh, when using air airbrush. So it won't let any any um, water droplets on your on your um, canvas. Uh, where I get get these? Uh, we have these uh, in um, in Finland. We have these uh, in few few stores, um, but uh, you can get those from Amazon. Amazon, if uh, if you check out, I have uh, the link on the video description where you can see. Um, Flerosol video. <laughs> they they have made uh, a video about that uh, spray bubble, and uh, with that uh, name you can uh, from eBay or some other sites you can get those. They are not that expensive and uh, not not uh, hard to get at all. I'm almost done for for the day. Um, just a little. Sticky <laughs> stuff. Um, I'm almost done for the day. Um, next time I will do that uh, woodpecker there. So and. Uh, Continue some some areas here and there, uh, finishing finishing uh, touches. But uh, I think I will um, stop stop soon and uh, go to eat. I'm quite hungry, <laughs> getting hungry here. Just realized that I haven't eaten in in a while. Mm, I need to do those stems before before stopping. <laughs> oh, that's good, Hilde. Where you get a uh, droplet, you get uh, you put one uh, firefly. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I want to darken some leaves here. Too much paint. Okay. Yeah, let's put a few little details, these little stems there, and then I think I'll call it a day for, for this time. Too many. Beautiful as always, and thank you for sharing. Please post a picture before you add a word. Have a great weekend, and please post if post if you do the bird tomorrow. Yes. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hilde is right. Uh, hit the little bell notification uh, uh, bell so that you get get those notifications when when I'm live um uh, i really can't can't tell you i'm sorry i'm so sorry i can't be um exact with my my uh, live stream uh, 
times I can't schedule them because because of life <laughs> that is my excuse um, so uh, but uh, I probably I, I try to even at least start with that uh, uh, those those um, those that um, what is it um, woodpecker painting tomorrow um, I probably won't get it finished finished then but uh, if I could even at least start get it started and uh, yeah uh, I will I will post the uh, final uh, the picture of this this stage these uh, just these flowers on on my Facebook page and uh, in uh, in uh, uh, what is it um ah oh, unmask art unmask art group uh, there is this uh, if you are not in Unmask Art uh, family group, <laughs> just go there. And uh, I have there this uh, picture of uh, the the stage before I I uh, started this one. So I think I'll continue my posting postings of of. Uh, this picture under that that and you can check out the this flower painting there but also on my on my own Facebook page and these uh, links are on are on the video description Okay, bye Mara. Okay, I think I'm done for today. Um, thank you all for for joining me, and uh, yeah, I will continue this with uh, with that. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, going to say uh, butterfly some, for for some reason, but uh, woodpecker, woodpecker. That uh, woodpecker, uh, I will continue with that uh, next time. It will be about this size here, uh, covering about that area there. So <laughs> I did quite a bit of work here, even though I didn't have to. And um, yeah, I hope I'll see you guys uh, in that uh, live stream. And uh, I'm really happy to see uh so many of you here today and yeah uh it's about three and a half hours i have been working this today so i think it's time to say goodbye okay thank you bye bye